Utah is one of dozens of states across the country seeing a surge of child hospitalizations due to respiratory illnesses. What's in the air affects my family directly. I've got a son who's got induced asthma, and so just allergies can be a trigger for him to miss school. I've got a daughter who has an autoimmune disease. There's been a surge in research coming out about how air quality impacts our brains and ways of thinking. From the air pollution inside those rooms, students and their ability to learn in the classroom can be harmed in simple things like taking tests. Doctors are on a mission to get free air purifiers in every classroom in Utah. The Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment called for air purifiers to be in classrooms. The federal government giving them a grant to start on their mission. The Utah Physicians for a Healthy Environment is doing all the legwork on this, the education, the installations. We're uh, reaching out to them on a daily basis, making phone calls to all districts and schools, administrators. Air purifiers in classrooms reduce the spread of diseases like COVID. They can better protect kids from those viruses and air pollution in our schools. If we can reduce that transmission of various diseases, the whole community benefits. Studies show that cleaner air can improve students' ability to think, to learn. So if we can clean that up, we know students' performance, their academic career and potential will be enhanced. What we want to do is keep them in the classroom, and I think the purifiers have shown that they can help do that in a safe way. Nobody has to do really anything. There's no extra tutoring, there's no extra work for parents, there's no extra work for the kids, and yet everybody gets the benefit of it. For a small school like us, we would have never been able to afford to purchase one of those machines in every one of our classrooms. It may be one of the most important programs to improve school education in Utah as well.